So in this short video I'm going to show you how I used my digital SLR and my new Gobi ND1000 neutral density filter to photograph sunspots on the sun. Uh, the ND filter was part of the ND family set uh, which I have in 77mm. So basic equipment that I used for this was my Canon EOS 7D, uh, any digital SLR should be capable of doing this but particularly uh, I use the live view functionality which allows me to view the image uh, through the lens but on the screen on the back of the camera instead of looking through the viewfinder which I think is quite important if you don't really want to be uh, risking looking through the viewfinder when you're pointing a camera directly at the sun. Uh, a solid tripod is helpful for this although at 8000 uh, shutter speed it's not essential but it does help in holding the camera steady while you're taking the photograph. I also used a very good zoom lens uh, in my case the Canon EF100-400 IS Mark II uh, but anything with a zoom of around 400mm should be capable of taking photographs. Uh, also obviously used the high value neutral density filter this was the ND1000 from Gobi and that was really what made this possible. So in terms of the settings um, I had the highest possible shutter speed 1 8000th of a second uh, you really don't want to be taking anything longer than that so that's plenty of light to get a decent image. I had the highest aperture setting so I stopped it right down to f22 so there was very little light coming through even with the neutral density filter uh, this setting was uh, was necessary. I used the minimum ISO setting as well so I don't want any uh, increased sensitivity 100 was plenty if anything I could have done with a bit less. I used the maximum zoom obviously the sun looks big in the sky but it's still a very long way away and at 400 I still ended up cropping the final image as it didn't fill the viewfinder. I used manual focus, uh, obviously your camera is unlikely to be able to focus on the sun, it is a very distant object and uh, when all said and done it's a ball of gas. So uh, having manual focus makes it possible to adjust and get a very good sharp image on the sun. I also used indirect through the lens viewing so live view on my EOS 7D uh, this meant that I wasn't looking through the viewfinder at all and of course having the Gobi ND1000 filter fitted uh, this reduces the light considerably uh, it's almost completely opaque and uh, is really the, the, the thing that made this photograph possible so a couple of important safety things really uh, if you're going to attempt to do this yourself uh, don't start to set up the shot at all until you've got uh, the ND1000 filter in place uh, if your camera did have a 400 zoom on it and you pointed it at the sun the amount of light coming back through it could either damage your sensor or, or damage your eye if you look through it or could possibly even uh, focus light onto a nearby object and cause a fire. Uh, make sure that filter is in place before you start. Uh, engage live view uh, and obviously don't look through the viewfinder. Live view gives you the perfect way of seeing what your camera is seeing without you risking putting your eye in the line of the sun. Uh, start with the zoom lens at the lowest setting in order to get yourself located on the sun and then zoom in once you're there. Again this prevents you from risking taking the filter off or trying to look because you can't find the sun. With the ND1000 on the front it is uh, very dark and so you're not really seeing any anything until you're right on the sun and then of course it's very bright. And of course don't stare directly at the sun at any point it can seriously damage your eyes. So even in just looking to see where the sun is uh, either make sure you've got sunglasses on or look at it uh, bounced off paper or, or, or any other objects don't stare at the sun uh, it won't do your eyes any good at all. 
So a couple of helpful tips. Um, I started with the zoom lens, focused at infinity and dialed it back again. Uh, having it on manual focus I think is the only way to achieve it and by going to infinity and bringing it back you're going to get a nice sharp image. Uh, the sun is not at infinity, the very little actually will ever use the infinity focus on your lens so you will end up moving it slightly back from infinity. Uh, and I use the depth of field preview button uh, which you can see on the uh, left hand photograph on the bottom left of the front of the camera body. Uh, this uh, enacts the aperture setting that you've picked f22 and therefore reduces heavily the amount of light coming in. This will turn the image of the sun on the back of the camera immediately from a bright white ball to a more orangey ball uh, which is easier to tell whether you've got it in perfect focus or not. Uh, and also zooming in on the live view preview can also help ensure that you've got a good crisp focus. Uh, that's easy enough to do while live view is enabled. So uh, the results of all of this was that after all that I did with the image was to crop it, uh, I got a very good image. I then compared my image to the daily sunspot diagram which is shown on spaceweather.com uh, just in case that what I'd photographed was actually dust uh, either on the outside of the filter, on the camera lens or somewhere uh, between the outside and the inside of my camera and lo and behold it wasn't at all. Uh, the sunspots matched perfectly uh, and it was a very pleasing result. So uh, all that was thanks to my uh, Gobi ND1000 filter uh, and I will be doing that again. I will probably be trying the moon as well. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe as I'll be uploading more reviews, different tech products, possibly some more Gobi filters and certainly some more how-to videos. Thank you.